circuits, and Ohm's law. In this lab, you will be constructing circuits using resistors and incandescent light bulbs with our variable 6 volt power supply. You can connect all of these using our banana plugs, which can plug into the open ports. They can also stack on each other if you need to make additional electrical connections. We will be measuring these circuits that we're creating using a multimeter, called so because not only could you set it to volts using the voltage and common connection points here, but you can also set it to current using amperage and the 10 amp fuse port to common. So you, this can be a voltmeter and an ammeter. In addition to the multimeter, which will just give you numbers, Logger Pro also has a voltmeter and an ammeter that will go directly into Logger Pro and allow you to record your data across time. A couple things to keep in mind with this equipment. This support is in no way electrical. It is only there to hold things so that your setup can be neater. On the light bulb and resistors, there are four possible connection points where you can plug in or it can plug in on one side or the other. To use these devices, you need to go across the resistor or across the light bulb, which means you need to go from one side of plug or port to the other side. This is going across the resistor. If you plug them in like this, you are not going across anything. These are attached together and is exactly the same as if you had done this, where clearly we are not going through the resistor. On the Logger Pro voltage probes, these probes end with alligator jaws, and the smaller side of the jaw is designed to be the same size as a banana plug, so it can go nicely into the plug, and you don't need to worry about loose connections or if the two clips try to touch each other. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. J.J. Thompson won the Nobel Prize for proving that the electron was a particle. His son, George, won the Nobel Prize for proving that an electron is a wave.